Alex is going to be talking about the Ready Layer 2 Bitcoin pitch competition. Um, hey, everybody. My name is Adam Hahn. I am the Community Programs Lead at the Stacks Foundation, calling in live from Austin, Texas. Uh, if you're in Austin, stay cool out there. If you're not in Austin, I'm very happy for you because it's extremely hot. Uh, so this this initiative that we're doing, this this Bitcoin pitch competition, is something that we're all super excited about. Uh, this is going to be a three-day competition focused on exploring, learning, validating, uh, and developing products, product ideas and services utilizing Bitcoin. It's going to be held July 28th through the 30th. And this is such uh, an exciting and critical time for be building Bitcoin-enabled ideas and technology. And so the reason why we're doing this is because we want to be inclusive to that to the idea of building on Bitcoin and building Bitcoin-enabled technology. So this initiative is designed for anyone to participate regardless of background, regardless of skill set, regardless of location. So if you're if you're a technical individual, like that's fantastic. We want you to come join us. If you're if you're not a technical individual, that's also fantastic. We want you to come join us. If you're new to Bitcoin, great, sign up. We would love to have you come join us. It's a unique opportunity for participants to learn about building on Bitcoin and receive insights and feedback from industry experts. So I'll pass this over to Kenny to unpack that a little bit more. Yeah, thanks, Adam. So real quickly, kind of a high level overview of what SBTC is, which is really the driving force behind this competition. The highest level, SPTC is a decentralized two-way Bitcoin peg. What does that mean? Well, we heard a little bit about in the last panel about this idea of making your Bitcoin productive and doing things like earning a real yield on your Bitcoin. So what we can do with a decentralized two-way peg like SPTC is it allows us to do more complex things with our Bitcoin without necessarily needing to trust a centralized custodian to do those things. Bitcoin's very simple, which makes it extremely stable, extremely secure, and it encourages decentralization. But the trade-off here is that that comes with limited functionality. Other more functional chains like Ethereum, they open up new use cases for things like decentralized finance and NFTs, but that increased functionality comes with increased attack surface, drastically increased complexity, and then that just compounds over time, causing this endless game of catch up trying to stay ahead of these issues. So how can we bring the same use cases that Ethereum provides without sacrificing Bitcoin's strongest properties? And that's really where SBTC comes in. At the risk of oversimplifying a bit, SBTC works by users depositing their Bitcoin into a threshold wallet that's collectively controlled by a decentralized group of signers. And these signers are economically incentivized to faithfully process those deposit and withdrawal requests converting between Bitcoin and SBTC. So when you deposit BTC, a corresponding amount of SBTC is minted to you. And then you can use that SBTC inside of the Stacks chain and use things like Clarity Smart Contracts to do things like decentralized finance, trustless borrowing and lending even implement some interesting scalability solutions when you combine it with something like Hero subnets that coming that are coming out. So it introduces this whole new um, space for more complex applications without sacrificing what makes Bitcoin great in the first place. So in short, what it really does is it lets us do for the economy what Bitcoin did for the money without sacrificing those properties that we all love about Bitcoin. <clears throat> so the purpose of this competition is really to encourage founders to brainstorm and come up with these killer app ideas that utilize this technology. And like Adam said, you don't need to be a developer to participate in this. We're going to be providing a lot of educational resources throughout the competition to help you learn more about how it works, what kind of problems it's best suited to solve, and then how you can actually start thinking about, from an architecture standpoint, where would this technology actually fit in with the app ideas that you want to build so that we can all start kind of coming together and creating this decentralized, trustless economy that's built on top of Bitcoin. And then Adam, I'll hand it back over to you to kind of go into a little bit more detail about the kind of things that people can expect to work on and submit in order to kind of have the best chance of winning this competition. Thanks, Kenny. Yeah. So as Kenny was alluding to, this is um, it's going to be, and as I mentioned as well, three days. So the way that it breaks down is it's where these three days are going to be broken down one day, focusing on a specific theme at a time. First one is going to be very educational. So we're going to be hosting workshops. We're going to be hosting um, office hours led by by mentors and experts and founders in the in the Bitcoin community. And um, day two is going to be about continuing to learn from these mentors as you hone in on what your idea is, performing customer validation, testing business models, crafting your your pitch, uh, your overall pitch that you will be submitting. So if some of the things that Kenny was talking about seem a little bit over your head, or if you are understanding every word he's saying, that's great. We're going to dive deeper into all of those things, make it a lot more comprehensible, very easy to learn. And 
if you come from maybe more of a technical background, this is also a really good opportunity for you to hone in on some of the areas that I said about validating ideas, testing your business model, and crafting your overall pitch. So that leads us to day three, which is going to be uh, submitting your pitches and receiving feedback from the judges. So a few things that I'll quickly mention that go into your pitch. Um, these are kind of at a high level, but you'll be talking about the problem that your, uh, your pitch is going to be solving. You'll talk about the solution to that problem. Talk about idea validation that you actually were you know, validating that this is an idea that the Bitcoin economy needs and why. And you'll talk about the overall total addressable market uh, and what kind of impact these ideas and products or services could have. So um, that's how the, the structure of the pitch will be broken down and how they will be performed over those three days. Uh, last and most exciting is this will be a competition that will have prizes. So we'll be giving cash prizes to the top three winners. Uh, we'll also have other unique offerings like Bitcoin NFTs, free tickets to Bitcoin Unleashed this fall, uh, which will be a smashing fun time. And then we'll also have supportive programming and mentoring throughout the ecosystem to help you further your ideas and take things to the next level once the pitch competition has concluded. So that's the most that's the thing that I'm personally most uh, excited about and what I think is one of the most vital pieces to this pitch competition is we will be working with individuals even once the competition is over to support and guide to help you further your ideas and products to get you to the next level. Um, if this is all at all interest to you, feel free to reach out to us. You can email us at community at readyl2.com or visit the website readyl2.com and go ahead and register. We're looking forward to seeing you. Kenny, anything else that you want to add? I think the last thing before we hop off is I just want to make sure and reiterate, like if you feel intimidated or overwhelmed by some of this stuff, I really want to encourage people to take part in this competition anyway. Like the community support, the resources, we're really going to do everything we can to make this as accessible for whoever. And the more people are coming up with ideas like this, and the more people are not only pitching their ideas, but then also helping the Stacks community sort of fine tune and work on their things like their developer tooling and their experience and the educational content that I write. The more people we can get to take part in this, the better we're all going to be able to do. And the closer we're going to be able to get to that ideal vision that we all have of really building out this decentralized economy on Bitcoin. So anybody out there, regardless of how intimidated you might feel now, whether you feel super qualified or totally underqualified, please, I really encourage you to take part in this competition. Um, I'm really excited about it. And I think we're going to get a lot of great app ideas out of it.